Wow, 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 do I have some updates for you. This right here is Sally's Spectacular Spreadsheet where when I fix the electronic items that I purchase from eBay and I sell them, I log all of the profits or losses on here. Right here, you can see the estimated profit of what I think we're gonna be able to sell it for. And here is the net profits, which is severely in the red at the moment because I've not updated that information. That's usually because an item hasn't sold yet, but I'm here to tell you all but one has now sold. Before all of these updates go through, we currently stand at 134097 out of a total target of 2000. That's gonna change right now. Am I gonna be close to the estimated profit or will I be way out? Nintendo Switch Lite from episode number 44. I said was £33.44 total profit. I sold this for £58.07, which is way under, and it netted me £18.71. Okay, Joe, but what about the disc PS5 from episode number 45 of profit or loss? I estimated £31 profit. It sold for £215.68, and we're £6 over, so 37 instead of the 31. This is the faulty PS5 from episode number 46 that I haven't been able to sell yet, so I'll skip that one. Then we have another disc PS5, which I thought I'd get £210 for, Oof, and I sold this one for £179.17 after after everything taken out. That nets us a profit of £15 instead of the 27 so I'm £12 down there. And finally, another PS5. I estimated £62.21 on this one. I sold this one for a total of 25664 and the total profit here, wow, let's go, £118.65, and I predicted 62 so almost double what I predicted. That pretty much makes up for everything else that was lost. Those were a few good episodes and our actual total profit now stands at £1,582. Our estimated is 1300 so I'm still pretty off when it comes to the estimated. Can we close in on that gap today? We might be getting towards the end here. Welcome your faces back to season two of the series Profit or Loss episode number 48. Quick sip of coffee, let's make some profit. I can't lie to you, this off the bat is probably going to be a loss. This is a PS5 Slim and I've done maybe two of these on the channel before so I'm actually looking forward to getting inside it. However, it's in a bit of a mess. I mean, the panels are actually really struggling to stay on. I say that, that one came off relatively easy. The other one, for whatever reason, doesn't actually like staying on the console. And I think it's got something to do with this broken clip that we have here. But yeah, it just doesn't clip in place, unfortunately. I actually paid a very good price for this. £119.85 pence interestingly it doesn't state what's actually wrong with the console it just says oh no it does ignore me it says console is completely dead possibly been dropped still not intact someone has opened it previously are you somebody who needs custom parts quick time pcb way makes it ridiculously easy with their instant quote tool just upload your gerber files for the pcb and you are ready to go the customization on this website is unmatched they don't just do pcbs either they offer cnc machining 3d printing sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding it's all there for the taking. And if you're personally stuck for ideas on what to make or just love a good browse, check out their shared projects and online shop packed with community builds and parts ready to order. Hit the link in the description and give it a try. So you obviously know the first thing that I'm going to do is plug it in and see what happens. Now, I do have one of these power supplies, I believe, for the Slims. I heard some sort of crackle. Do we get anything? Zilcho, nothing. Please tell me it's going to be something like a simple cap short. That would be absolutely unbelievable. But it's never that easy. So let me take that out. Take off this cover. Like I said, I think I've done two of these. So I don't even know what way to kind of turn it to take it apart, you know? But that for me is exciting, at least. Let's see if I can remember where all these screws are meant to go. The listing that I purchased it from did look something like a CEX or that sort of vibe, you know? Where somebody might potentially trade in a console. Take out the fan. It looks relatively clean. Has seen some use though, from what I can tell. They've definitely gone a bit further. Doesn't look like they've used UART, but you don't really tend to do so when it's a no power. UART is more so used for when there's like a beep on beep off sort of situation going on. Got a big screw down here, right? A couple of screws missing, mind. Alrighty, let's move off the hood and see how we're looking. Any signs of flux? No, I don't think so. From what I can tell, it's the first thing I look for when I open up these consoles. It's a little bit of flux on the board somewhere or some something that looks like prior repair attempt. But you know what? It looks pretty good. Now, it did mention that it might have been dropped in the photos. So I am thinking maybe I do also need to look at the APU pretty sharpish just to actually confirm that I've not got a crack or anything on the APU itself because that would be GG. I'm just going to take this off, but then what I'm going to do is measure around the board and see what voltages we have. Like, is it just a bad power supply? Because if it's just a bad power supply, then I do have a spare one. Let's plug in the power again. 
Turn on the old multimeter, eh? Okay, top right hand corner of your screen. Now we've got the multimeter in DC voltage. AC comes through and then the power supply converts that into DC and applies 12 volts to the board. So how are we looking? 12 Vs? You here or not? No. Wait. Yeah, it's definitely ground. That's power supply. I don't believe it. I don't know because I, I've not actually managed to fix a slim yet. So uh, I don't know where to measure for voltages, etc. I think... I think it's just a power supply. Did they just go, oh, I don't want to fix it because those power supplies are so expensive on the Slim and that's why they sold it for quite cheap as well. Who knows? Uh, so how do I get to the power supply? Is it the other side? Let me take the board out just to make my life that a little bit easier, hey? I mean, even the liquid metal on this looks really good, which is a rarity, 100%. Uh, big fly here. Oh, is that what's fried? Is that has that fried the power supply? <laughs> oh, poor little guy. <laughs> Most probably, because apparently that can happen. Wait, so how do I take this out? Is it this screw? I don't know. What does this screw do? Just gonna lift out now. If it's got any screws this side? Doesn't look it, does it? So is it, is the heatsink just gonna fall out? I'm gonna say yes. This is new territory to me. Okay. Oh, and the power supply's on the back here and i've just unscrewed that so i should be able to just pull this through oh there's another screw there hold on take that one out as well both the same size luckily and that just comes away yeah wow well. so i by the looks of it i had my first ever faulty power supply for one of the slim models and you know what i might keep it and see what happens no promises but i might just keep hold of it for learning purposes at some point or another but i'm not going to be looking at this in today's video i'm just going to swap it out for another one that i've got in the loft i guess i should probably actually confirm whether the power supply has 12 volts i could still have a 12 volt short on the board i didn't really check for that so let's just confirm pin there pin here no completely make sure i'm getting a good contact completely zilcho that could be a short on the actual power supply itself but i do believe that's a faulty power supply oh my gosh what a profit this could be wow would you look at this as well i also have some plates in the loft so I can put some nice clean plates and bin the one that's got the faulty clips. I might make a real nice profit on this console. It's a shame it's not a disc version though. Well, it comes with a disc. Okay, here's the faulty one. Here's the one that supposedly works. Let me grab power. See if this one has 12 Vs. Looks like it. Yep, 12 Vs. Cool. Go ahead and screw this to the chassis here and here. Okay, that's pretty much that in. I put the wrong screw back. Nice. I say wrong screw, it's just meant to go through the chassis itself after I put this back. Liquido metal has been sorted. Plug that in. We have one screw up here. There was one more. Where is it here? Clamp for safety. Is this going to work? Just rest this on now. Do we have power? We're looking for LEDs over here. Three, two, one. Oh, sorry. LEDs here. <laughs> I'm so used to them being up here. Yes. Does it go to a white light? And do I get a display is the question. Oh, the HDMI port's over here as well. Okay, please go to a white light. I'll let you know when it does because it's hard to see. Yes, that is a white light. Is it going to do three beeps? No three beeps. But it has gone back to a blue light. Okay. Maybe the person in their settings had it to like not make the beeps. That is doable. There, oh, okay. Sorry. Three beeps are there. Wait a minute. Yep. I have an image. I'll confirm with you in a second. Food for thought as well. Uh, the reason why I probably got this one so cheap is because maybe I can't remember how quick they bought it, but maybe people saw the fact that it said may have been dropped and thought uh, if, it, if it's been dropped, then it's most probably going to be an APU situation. And here we go. I'm on the PS5. I have put it back together and it seems to be working absolutely fine. I'll give it a quick clean. I've swapped out some of the plates, so we're pretty much all good to go. I just need to test the game and make sure that's okay before selling it. But I'm going to confirm all okay for the time being. Sometimes it's really nice to have the easy ones. And trust me, they're super rare, especially for that sort of price for a newish uh, console. But I also like a little bit of a challenge and obviously good content. But nonetheless, before we move on to our next item, what do I think that I'll be able to get for that? Looking at sold on eBay, I'm seeing ranges from £200 up to £260. So I'll, I'll start at 230 and we'll see how we get on. If I do sell at 230, our profit's looking really nice at around about £90. You might be thinking, Joe, where's all the other profit gone? Well, the cost is 119 The eBay fee is roughly going to be 9%, which is £20. Therefore, that gives us the £90. Lovely, jubbly. Would you look at that? They're a lot easier to ship out as well because they're smaller than the uh, original consoles. Let's move on to our next item. Could be huge profit today. Bring out our second contender. Yes, PlayStation 5 disc edition this time more money 
to be had. I paid a grand total of £127.27. pence. There are some bargains to be had today. I think I've done quite well. I'm more than happy to pay these sorts of prices for PlayStation 5s nowadays rather than the 150 to 180 mark that I was paying. This one may be a slightly weird one. So selling a faulty PS5 bought back in 2021. It will power on but cuts out after a few minutes currently in safe mode maybe someone will know how to sort it so this is original owner i'm not even too sure if it's been opened before i'm going to go ahead and assume it's not considering it was bought from this person back in 2021 they could have bought it second hand mind this person has also put on their ebay a picture of the device in safe mode if i can click it there we go so i wonder if that's got something to do with it as well i've got a reinstallation image for the ps5 so i'm probably going to start there but again i've never really bought something with that fault description so let's see what we can do, I guess, first before I boot it up. Has it been opened? It has. Okay. So it's been opened before. That's slightly worrying, but it is what it is. Plug in the power. Also going to plug in the SSD for the reinstallation file as well. Okay, here we go. What happens? Three, two, one. I'll take the side panel off so we can see the state of the uh, LEDs. Well, that looks good. Straight to safe mode because that was very, very quick. Okay, here we go. So connect the controller. So I've done that. Reset PS5, reinstall system software. Okay, cool. So this is the only option that it's given us which is fine. I've got the US, I've got the uh, SSD plugged in, sorry, into the PS5. So technically this should be okay. I know my monitor's dirty, but it also adds character. I think we can all agree. It'll be initialized. Cool. And I'll update you with what happens in a second. Hopefully it passes that 20% mark. Let's see. Okay. It has applied the update, just turned off. So I should see it any second turn back on. You can see the fan has just stopped, but there we go. It's come back on. Nice. Okay, we have set up screen. So I'm going to run through this really quickly, potentially look at like downloading the game or something and see if this inevitably turns off. Well, I'm a little bit confused. I have spent probably about 45 minutes playing Fortnite on this PS5, as well as a tiny bit of GTA, which has been installed and played. I, I played through like the first part of the story and the console itself has been on for about an hour and 20 minutes and we're all good. No issues, all connected to live. Display works wonders. This drive is quiet. The fan is quiet. So I'm kind of just like, all I had to do was reinstall the installation file and that was it. I'm kind of in a bit of a limbo, whereas I think what I might do is also message the seller and just try and get a little bit more information on it. I don't even know if there's a need to necessarily open it up purely because of the fact, clearly it's not overheating. I know one hour 20 isn't the longest amount of time but Fortnite is a pretty intensive game and you'd think that if there were any overheating issues it would have cut out at that point i think i'll quickly go back to seller see what they're saying get some more information and then potentially look at just trying to keep it on as long as i can whilst playing games and see if that fixes it but i'm also in a little bit of disbelief that that is the fix because if that's true we're getting so close to two thousand pounds total profit well fun fact i basically asked the question that i've just said and they said i tried to get it repaired and the person said they wasn't sure how to fix it so i just listed it as faulty on ebay so that could mean anything it makes me question was the repair shop competent were they just like pc repairs they didn't know how to do that but downloading the software onto a memory stick for reinstallation isn't the most complicated thing and it's a quick google so if you are a repair shop i feel like you'd be able to do that i played again for about an hour on the console and just no issues so i think the best bet is be as always as honest as i can be in the description of the ebay listing and if worst case scenario the customer experiences issues we'll get it sorted i'm going to wrap this one up now because otherwise i'll go through three devices in one video which isn't ideal but let's head on over to sally spectacular spreadsheet for this unexpected episode i reckon for the ps5 disc i'll settle for a nice 220 pound just to be safe and that would net us a profit of seven almost 73 pound a combined total profit in today's episode of 162 pounds 38 and again hours worked i'm going to round up to one hour just for the time taking the ps5 console apart and sitting through the software updates and that whole process i to be honest i'd say maybe 30 minutes to 45 but we'll keep it at one hour the actual profit doesn't change yet because we haven't sold anything but it will be getting very very close to our 2k total thank you so much for watching this video i know it wasn't the best like as in ideal for the fixes but this is part of the series this is as raw as it gets i bought something i bought two things today and got extremely lucky if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and as always i shall see you in the next one peace